dans les poches. Hein. Bonjour Clément. Bonjour Julie. You are co-director of this fair, Absolute. a new type of fair mm -hmm. for Paris. Indeed. As, as FIAC doesn't happen this year. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, can we have a two? What's the principle of this uh, exhibition, fair exhibition? For example, here we have the new famous Easy... Easy Wood? Yes. Mm -hmm. Young American painter represented by a um, gallery based in London, Carlos Ishikawa. It's ouais. been a, a long time, long time exhibitor of ours. I've been told that Larry Gagosian has one of his paintings in his bedroom in the Hamptons. Ah. Can you imagine how I trendy she is? I surely can imagine. <laughs> I cannot confirm nor deny. <laughs> <laughs> so, another easy wood. Absolutely. This uh, paint on velvet, an oil on velvet. So it's interesting because you can't really um, say from the pictures, but once you know you get a, at a, a close distance from the, the painting, you can see the depth of it. You know the the grain and all its. Uh... Wow! And so we have another super trendy artist that I love. <laughs> so what's his name? Louis Fratino. Ouais. Um, this is, uh, uh, he's represented here in Paris by uh, Antoine Levy and Nerina Chacha, ouais. uh, co-founders of the fair, who just reopened the gallery under the name uh, uh, Chacha Levy. Yes. Uh, it's a chunk pastel on paper. And, and then, there's another one. Yes, it's uh, like his, um, how can I say, sandwiching the column. I mean, he's on both ends of the column. Yes. Uh, with um, a re relatively more... Um, um, domestic uh, scene. Okay. But it looks like a Japanese print in the back, but it's a gay, kind of gay porn. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> kind of, with a cubist <laughs> composition in, in the middle. Uh, one would say homoerotic. Homoerotic, exactly. And so there's this impressive piece. This is a work by an uh, uh, Israeli artist, uh, Amitai Rom. Mm -hmm. um, and it's uh, made of... Um, um, parabols, you know, like um, uh, parabolic containers, mm -hmm. which are uh, combined together, and um, there is a bit of echo, you know, but it's interesting because uh, now that there is a, a huge conversation about uh, 5G and, uh, and uh, oops, <laughs> so the, light, the lighting goes off uh, every now and then, but, um, and so this is, uh, I think he's interested in the relationship between technology and uh, how technology uh, infers on human relationships, and this is uh, a many And what, I, what is a gallery? Which uh, the gallery is Spazio Veda, it's Veda in, uh, in uh, Turin, in Italy. Ah. And We Won't Work? We Won't Work is a, it's a light box by um, uh, artist Mathis Alvan, who is uh, represented here by uh, Friedman Fitzpatrick. Yes, um, not, not Friedman anymore. Only oh, Fitzpatrick. that's true, Fitzpatrick Gallery. Thanks. <laughs> I guess you can edit that, right? No, <laughs> I will not. <laughs> it's the raw version. Sorry about that. Excuse me, Robbie. I'm working at Fitzpatrick Gallery. Habits die hard. Uh, this is a painting by Camille Bernard, uh, who is shown by a CC Club, uh, who is one of the non-profit spaces uh, that we invited this year, coming from Marseille. What is CC Club? CC Club is a, uh, an artist uh, space based in Marseille. You know, at the fair we. Occasionally, I mean, invite non-profit structures to participate for free. Yes. Uh, we've been supporting the contribution of non-profit spaces since 2015. And so this year, uh, we invited them and Pauline Perplex from Arcueil and, um, and uh, Cherish from Geneva. And? Cherish from Geneva. And this one? This one is also CC Club. Mm -hmm. Camille same. Bernard. Camille Bernard, absolutely. And the thing is that there are surprises. Yes, there are the prices. Well, it seems like uh, since the first round of viewing rooms opened earlier this year, uh, a step, you know, was uh, made towards the transparency of prices. And so now prices are expected to be available. So we've decided to encourage our participants to make them known, you know, and, uh, but of course it's not coercive. So galleries who didn't want to disclose the prices uh, are allowed a certain discretion. And so, but you didn't say that it's a former supermarket here. Well, you didn't ask. I thought it was quite, <laughs> it was quite obvious. Um, it's a former superette, yes. Uh, superette? It's, it's, super it's a very French name. Mm -hmm. um, I Word. think it's an equivalent in English. But uh, it was vacant for um, some time. And, you know, sometimes it just, uh, I just randomly pass by uh, um, one day and 
and uh, the planets aligned pretty luckily because the space was available and we were already uh, considering a change of format. Um, this is a Taiwanese artist, uh, Wong Tai Hai Tsin. Mm -hmm. She's represented by the Gary Capsule in Shanghai. You have to forgive my pronunciation, you know, this French accent is hard. But... So, uh, there's a lot of kind of naive uh, style paintings. Mm -hmm. This is very trendy now. Yeah. This is a Japanese artist, right? Yes, a Japanese artist represented by uh, the gallery Kayoko Yuki in Tokyo. His name is Daichi Takagi. Mm. And uh, he also did the painting with a, a crow, which uh, is... I like it. Quite cool. Bon, and this is... Pia Camille. Oui. Represented by Gary Sultana, another co-founder of the fair. Um, rather explicit uh, wow this is more, expen paper. more expensive than most of the works right <laughs> <laughs> yes i mean you know it's a supermarket after all <laughs> and what is that this is a painting by joan robertson who is uh, represented by edouard montassu who's coming back after uh, uh, a and uh, whom we are very happy to uh, see return at paris international she's a young american painter Bon, merci beaucoup, monsieur. Avec plaisir, Judith. Merci.